Hello 101. Today is Tuesday, March 10th, and we are going to be working in our Backpack 5 books, Unit 9, Backpack 5. So, if you could please have them out and turn to page 100. 100. So, last week on Friday, I believe, we had read page 100 and we had been talking about people in different cultures and the music that they listen to. So just to reveal a little bit about 100, we read about rap. And rap started in the United States uh, by African Americans. And these days though, it's very popular around the world. So, in different countries, Spain, Japan, Saudi Arabia, and Korea. So the big thing with rap is you are telling a story usually with um, the rhythm of the beat, okay? So they can use like rhyming words a lot to kind of make it like poetry. Um, and sometimes they talk very quickly Sometimes they talk very slowly. Sometimes it's hard to understand them. Sometimes they're very clear on what they are saying. So there's all different types. There are some, some rappers who are well known for their storytelling abilities. That it's really like when you're listening to them, they, they're telling you a story and it's really cool. So that's rap. Classical Indian, we learned about, um, so they play a sitar, which kind of, that's that instrument, and it looks kind of like a guitar almost, but it's different. So they can play it slow, or they can play it very quickly, which is more like exciting and, you know, dance type music. Um, obviously classical Indian comes from, you guessed it, India. So we are going to read about the steel drums today and salsa. So follow along please as I read. Okay. Have you ever seen a steel drum band? They play all kinds of music like jazz, reggae, and classical. Steel drums come from Trinidad in the, in the Caribbean. A long time ago, people there used metal objects like pots and pans to make simple drum music. In the 1940s, a 12-year-old boy named Winston Simon made a pan that could play different notes. Other musicians quickly copied and improved his instrument. Pretty soon, steel drums were known all over the world. Okay, salsa. My favorite kind of music is salsa. Salsa is a dance rhythm that has roots in the musical styles of Cuba and Puerto Rico. It's the kind of music that makes you want to dance, especially when you listen to Celia Cruz. I live in Japan where, believe it or not, we have several hot salsa bands. Some of us would rather listen to salsa than to traditional Japanese music. Okay, point, ask, and answer. Have you ever heard rap music? Yes, I have. Would you rather listen to rap music or steel drums? I'd rather listen to steel drums. Okay, so we are going to go on to page 102. 102, and there's a little grammar lesson. So you're asking questions, right, about the music. So have you ever heard salsa music? Have they ever heard salsa music? No, I haven't or yes, I have, and yes, they have, or no, they haven't. Okay, so 
Has he ever been to a concert? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Has she ever been to a concert? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Okay, so you're asking about hearing if you've heard it before or have you been to a concert? So now with the complete the questions, then answer with your own information. So now you have gone, heard, listened, and played, okay? So number one is already done. Have you ever listened to rap music? Okay, and then you see how it's answered, yes, I have. So you're go you are going to answer the question as well. Make sure you do that second part. Um, okay, so go ahead and pause the video and come back when you are done. Okay, so number two. Have your friends ever gone to a concert? And the answers are either yes, they have, or no, they haven't, okay? Make sure you're using they, not I or she or he, it's they, it's your friends. So yes, comma, they have, period, or no, comma, they haven't, period. Three, have you ever play, played drums? Have you ever played drums? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Four, has your teacher heard of reggae music? Now it's has, not have, okay? Has your teacher heard of reggae music? Yes, she has, or yes, he has. No, she hasn't. No, he hasn't, okay? Haven't, So, uh, no, sorry, hasn't. Um, so it's has or hasn't. And it's he or she, okay? You can choose. I mean, if we're talking about me, obviously it's a she. So, good. So if you want me to review that, have you ever listened to rap music? Yes, I have. Two, have your friends ever gone to a concert? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Three, have you ever played drums? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Has your teacher heard of reggae music? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Okay, so now you are asking if you'd rather do something or not. So would you rather listen to opera or jazz? Would he rather listen to opera or jazz? So how you're answering that is I'd rather listen to jazz. He'd rather listen to jazz. She'd rather, they'd rather listen to jazz. Okay, so that one stays pretty consistent all the way through. So number one, would you rather go to a concert or buy a CD? I'd rather buy a CD because they're asking you, so I. So do two, three, and four, and you can pause the video, and when you are done, check back with me. Okay, would Lewis rather sing songs or write songs? He'd rather sing songs or write songs. It doesn't matter which one you chose. So he'd rather sing songs or he'd rather write songs. But the important part is heed. Three, would they rather listen to music or dance? 
They'd rather listen to music. They'd rather dance. Four, would she rather play the guitar or the violin? She'd rather play the guitar. She'd rather play the violin. Okay, so now for page 103, this is our last book, our last page in our student books. You're going to interview your classmates, find a different student for each picture, write a name on the line. So obviously we are not in class, so that makes it a little bit difficult. If you would like to ask your classmates or your friends, go right ahead. So what we are going to do just now is ask the questions, okay? So number one, or the first little one is, have you ever played drums? You could say and ask. Number two, have you ever danced salsa or salsa dance? Three, have you ever played the violin? Number four, have you ever been to a concert? Have you ever sang? A song. <laughs> um, number, I'm not sure what to, I would say maybe say sing opera. Okay, have you ever sang opera? Let's do that one. Have you ever played the piano? For the next one, it's a concert as well, like before, but there's two people. So maybe for this one, it's, have they ever been to a concert? And then the last one looks like, have you ever heard rap music? Have you ever heard rap music? So that last part two, work in a group, which singers or groups would you rather listen to? I love pop music. I'd rather listen to the Jonas Brothers than anyone else. Really? Me too. So you can practice these with your family, your friends, whoever. Just kind of find people who will um, do this with you and what you can, oh, and you can fill it out, okay? If um, that's not possible, you can always direct the questions at yourself, okay? so. Instead of have you and you're asking somebody say have I ever played the drums and you write no I haven't or yes I have so that is your your worst case scenario that you can kind of do Okay, so we are going to be going to our homework books now and we are on page 100 100 we are going to be doing number six the comprehension read the stories and answer the questions um, one through four today, okay? So, who did rap music start with? Who did rap music start with? So, if you go back to your books, your student book, you can use this, and it says right here, right? Rap music started with African Americans in the United States. So, rap music started with African Americans in the United States. That is what you need to have written. Rap music started with African Americans in the United States. Make sure that African Americans, those A's are capitalized. Make sure the U and the S for United States is capitalized. Again, that is what your answer should be.
Okay, number two. How does the instrument sitar sound when musicians play it slowly? So if you go, well, the sitar is classical Indian, right? So you're reading, this instrument sounds beautiful when musicians play it slowly. So you can say, this instrument, word for word, you can do that. This instrument sounds beautiful. When musicians play it slowly. Okay, number three. Where does salsa have roots? Okay, go to salsa, salsa. Salsa is a dance rhythm that has roots in the musical styles of Cuba and Puerto Rico. We are looking right here. Cuba and Puerto Rico. So, salsa has roots in Cuba and Puerto Rico. Salsa has roots And let's do it in the musical styles of Cuba and Puerto Rico. So it should look like this. Okay, last one. Where do steel drums come from? Where do steel drums come from? Go to steel drums. Steel drums come from Trinidad in the Caribbean. That's an easy one. Steel drums come from Trinidad in the Caribbean. Okay, so number one, rap music started with African Americans in the United States. Number two, this instrument sounds beautiful when musicians play it slowly. Three, where does salsa have roots? Oh, sorry. Three, salsa has roots in the musical styles of Cuba and Puerto Rico. Four, steel drums come from Trinidad in the Caribbean. I will hold this up. If you need to press pause and look at it a little bit longer, you can pause it if you need to. Okay, that is it for today, guys. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.